Everyone welcome the amazing John Bell. They, they spotted you a little I, earlier. I, I heard you. that. I'm seeing all these. Uh, the amazing John Bell. <laughs> My name's Hilly. Hilly. Nice to meet I you. I love your videos. It's a bad Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. I'm so happy you enjoyed them. Oh. All right. So we have lots of people here in the chat. Oh, I, I'm seeing it. So if you guys have any questions for John, be sure to shoot it his way immediately because you guys are very vocal <laughs> for those of you <laughs> for those of you who live under a rock this is john who played is it bane is that I how you pronounce it bane's on a bard the bowman oh, bard the bowman's son ladies and gentlemen <laughs> yes, who's really tall now i am very tall like we're four <laughs> inches during the entire shoot so uh, it's pretty impressive i must that's admit. quite tall yeah 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 you have to keep telling you bend your knees john bend your knees go back we you're, need consistency you're not lying i literally did have to bend my knees during some of the shots see i knew it but you know peter jackson has a knack for making tall people small so <laughs> right <laughs> if he's gonna if it's gonna be anyone it's gonna be him right, right. <laughs> perfect he should say da. You know, all my friends <laughs> actually, whenever they see me, shout da, da, and that's getting kind of annoying now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, John, they would like to know, Toasty Toasty would like to know, <laughs> any fun, fun stories? Any fun stories? Yes. yes. We had a, you can tell them Well, we had a lot stories. of good time in New Zealand uh, at some of the karaoke bars out there. So um, often I would see look up stay up there giving it a bit of uh, Ain't No Mountain High Enough or anything and, and he's usually <laughs> karaoke tunes. He's a good good singer, good, very good singer. <laughs> What's your go-to karaoke song? Oh, I'm a big The Clash fan, so Rock the Casbah is my, nice. is my, is my go-to. Usually because you can kind of just shout that one instead of singing. <laughs> right, right. It's pretty yeah. okay. <laughs> they would like to know any other amazing stories about your time in New Zealand, particularly like seeing the country, touring the country well yeah. i can remember one time we were on location and we had to we were doing a unit move from lake tekapo and um, to twizel which is a small town in new zealand and the drive is just absolutely beautiful if anybody can get out to the south um, island in new zealand it's yeah. oh. it's it's heaven it's actual heaven yeah <laughs> preach it is like yes that. <laughs> that is no joke we've actually been to new zealand too and i almost felt like i was in heaven i was like this is so strange mm. i Exactly what he said. Go to New Zealand if you ever get the chance. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> there was like happy sheep like roaming on the hills. Scott would like to know, what was it like to work with Luke? With Luke? Well, I mean, the first ever scene I shot with Luke was the bell tower, which is the, the first kind of opening sequence of the third. Was it really? That was the first scene no. I've ever done. I know. So you were at your youngest at that point? Yeah, indeed. I was what? 14 then. See, and I thought you looked older. I was like, oh, they shot this when he was yeah. a little older. No, that was me. And then um, immediately me and Luke had a, a connection and a, and a, you know, uh, what's the word? What's father the chemistry chemistry yeah. there it is, chemistry <laughs> father son um, chemistry and he's just such a lad and such a great guy that you know he was he was my pal out there and i, I love him forever Aww. <laughs> so funny. Mm -hmm. they would like to know any celebrity crushes on set any celebrity crushes on set yes. i, I <laughs> they fell in like love a bit know. with evangeline oh because she is it. kind of enchanting beautiful <laughs> beautiful seriously <laughs> i was like i feel like a potato <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been to Finland or other, been other countries? Where have you yeah, been in the world? I've, I've never had the pleasure of visiting Scandinavia, unfortunately, but definitely it's on my hit list to go. Um, but I'm, I'm filming just now, actually, a movie in Austria and Italy. So to oh, all the Austrian cool. and Italian fans, I'll be there soon. So. Watch for John. Nice. He'll be there soon. <laughs> Don't tackle him or anything. <laughs> question in the chat says, John, what was your favorite scene to film and why? And can you tell us a little story about it? Okay. <laughs> okay. My favorite scene, well actually my favorite thing to do, which is part of a scene, was um, when Bane makes the decision to go save his dad, he picks up on a, a hook on Lake Town and swings across the lake. Um, and they told me, um, you can get your stunt double to do it, and I'm like, no, no, no. Yeah. I want to do this. Yeah. <laughs> so they had this big strapping Maori guy there to catch me, but I did, I did that. I swung across that lake, um, and that was me on, on, on screen there. Ladies and gentlemen, stuntman as well. <laughs> <laughs> is it awkward, like, when you see yourself, you know, in the movies with all the special effects done? Is it is it a little like daunting? Do you kind of wince? Are you beyond excited? 
and I, I, it's, it's, it was such an, a journey that it was really emotional actually to kind of see it come to screen in the end and see the completed really? project, you know. Um, I was there with my mom and dad who were there with me the entire time and we shed a tear together because it was, it was the end of a beautiful journey then. It was sad to see it go, but pleasure to share it with all the fans and that's what kept us going. That's very sweet. Mm. Now, how old were you when the first Lord of the Rings came out? When the, oh, so the first Lord <laughs> of the Rings came out in like... 2001. 2001? Yeah. So I would have been four. Oh. <laughs> I was a little four-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So and how old were you when you got the role for Bane? Well, I got the role, I was actually cast way before a lot of the other people. I was right. 13 when I was cast. Um, so it's, now that the final film comes out, I'm 17, so it's been four years that I've known since I've got it till the final one comes right. out. Um, yeah. It was a, uh, yeah, I didn't, I look a lot different. If you see my audition tape, I had like short blonde hair and, uh, <laughs> and lots of freckles. So. <laughs> what was your reaction? Like, did you get the when phone I, call? Oh yeah, when I got the phone call. Um, well, the first person I wanted to tell was my grandpa because it was his birthday when I got the call. Oh, how sweet. So um, I called adorable. him up and said, Paps, I've got a great birthday present for you. I just got the part in The Hobbit. Do you want to come out to New Zealand and see me out there? Oh, so. Now, Christian wants to know, no judging here, everybody. Have you read the books? Have I read the books? Yes. I haven't read Lord of the Rings, but I have read The Hobbit, He did read The Hobbit. Okay, that counts. Have, but Good. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, a, I'm just got into uni, so I'm doing my English literature degree. Um, so I'm just kind of having to read so much and so much that I don't have time to kind of get Lord of the Rings because it's kind of a meaty book. It is very you need, you need meaty. To, but I, maybe yeah. if I if I have a couple of weeks off somewhere somewhere tropical, I want to make it a good experience <laughs> of reading Lord of the Rings. Yeah, the Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Ring. I think the longest chapter is the Council of Elrond. Impressive. Yeah. <laughs> very long. So beware. It's very meaty. <laughs> okay. Talk about that. It's like a four-day read just to get through <laughs> the council. Oh, Christine says you all inspire me to act, and that is my dream. Oh, so you're inspiring people. Oh, that's amazing. Um, that is so amazing. I hope to inspire uh, so many more uh, people. And Christine, good luck to you, and I hope to work with you one day and see you on set. Cameron wants to know what has been your favorite movie out of all three. I really loved the final one. The I final thought one? I, I thought um, I was really really pleased with how that first sequence came out because I thought it was just so dramatic and so emotional and just perfect. Um, and you just got to every single character had their defining moment in that film. Um, so for me, Battle of the Five Army is definitely my favorite. Fabulous! I like... Oh, I have a question. What did you think of Smaug? What did I think of Smaug? Yeah, like, did you see it, like, finally, like, in theaters, it was all done, and you just watched it that way, or were you seeing any sort of sketches or anything about him? Smaug was top secret. Smaug, I didn't so see... So you, you saw, like, the finished version. When I when I saw Smaug for the first time, it was in the Berlin premiere um, on the big screen. And <laughs> I, it, amazing dragon, I think, is the coolest dragon I've ever seen I on know, screen, right? that's for sure. Did you ever get a chance to watch it in 3D? I did, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to watch it in 3D, which is really weird seeing my face in 3D, too, on a <laughs> kind of big screen. That's really weird. <laughs> in, in 48 frames. And 48 frames per yeah. second, okay. um, which is a nightmare for the makeup artist because for continuity they have to fix every single detail. But uh, yeah, HD to the HD, eh? Yeah, <laughs> I, I love the 48 frames per second, um, and we saw it like that for every movie. But mm -hmm. when we saw the third movie, something crazy went wrong in our in our theater, and it was with all the fire, and you're like hanging on the rope, and it was like double quadruple vision. Oh, Everything really? was blurry, was and I was. Insane. I was freaking out. Oh I was like, God. this is not what it's supposed Darn. to look like. No. And so they stopped it. They called IMAX, <laughs> <laughs> apparently. <laughs> and IMAX fixed it for us, but it got real scary for a sec because I couldn't I can see imagine. anything. <laughs> and they was like putting the arrow on your shoulder it's and I was like, like stop the glasses movie. Off. Yeah. yeah, it was and terrible. It was like the whole intro with like you and the arrow and Smaug. And I was like, I can't the see best anything. <laughs> I was like, stop the movie. I was like, I'm missing it. Because it was so epic of a beginning. It yeah. picked up right where it left mm -hmm. off. So you were blurry for us for like the first, what, 10 minutes of the movie. <laughs> you were like, I can't see people's faces. <laughs> did you see Luke in uh, Dracula? I did, yeah. I yes. went to see. I went to the cinema to see him and I messaged him straight after saying, fantastic job, my he man. He did amazing. Yeah, yeah, very cool film. Honestly, very, very cool film. I think he was like the best actor in the whole entire movie. Yeah. I wish it was longer, though. He's pretty sexy in it, isn't he? Yeah, <laughs> I wish it was longer. I was enjoying it so much. Maya wants to know, John, did you take anything from the Hobbit set? Take or steal? <laughs> oh. 
Well, my gift actually for le for when I finished, they, when I rap, they gave me my own sword, um, oh, which is the one that I fight with in Dale. Yeah. Um, so I have that in my in my uh, house now, and it works as a great prop and burglar deterrent in case anyone tries to break in. <laughs> yeah. Because they're going to run a mile if I start waving that thing about. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> what was your last day on set like? Well, That's a good question. Do you know what? It's also was my the last scene in the film um, was the one with Thorin's funeral when the when the horn is being blown and we're all standing there in Lake Town, um, in the ruins of Dale even. And yeah, so Wait, that I'm, emotion I'm, on my face is... Dale. Oh, yeah. oh, okay, because I was like, we didn't actually see a funeral. No, we didn't see is a funeral. Is that going to be extended? No. That's gonna, oh, maybe. maybe. Was it a shot? Oh, no. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I was like, where's the funeral? <laughs> Cool. Yeah, it was cool. It was a nice way to end it. Definitely. Really nice end it. I, I can't remember who asked it. I saw it go by, but they said, were there any scary moments on set or did anything happen that was scary? Well, at one point, um, we're in the Lake Town set and uh, it's real water there, you know, so they built it on top of like How a swimming pool. How deep was it? It was about... Mm, about a, like knee length okay, so okay, it's pretty okay. dark. So pretty deep for us, for <laughs> sure. <laughs> but some of the set's really high up. Um, so... Peter was just kind of walking about set talking to us and he sort of just steps off at one point and nearly falls in and the entire set just went whoop! <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're With his teeth, <laughs> so big yeah. <laughs> taking a tumble <laughs> into the water. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Let's see, what are people saying? Who did you first meet on set? Oh, Tiff wants to know. That's a right. good that's a good question. Oh, I'm so long ago I can't remember. I mean, I can remember walking into the canteen mm -hmm. and seeing like all the elves sit at their table and all the dwarves sit yeah. at their table and it was like a scene out of Mean Girls except Where it's Where do I go? <laughs> <laughs> you can't sit with us. I know, exactly. <laughs> um, but it was nice and then met everybody and I think it was Jed that actually I was one of the first people I met and actually from now on me and Jed are the best of friends oh, and I love them. Oh, that's awesome. Mm. Jackie Stein says, were there any pranks on set? Pranks on set. I wasn't part of any pranks on set, unfortunately. Um, but I'm sure they're they're a mischievous <laughs> bunch, so I'm sure they got up to some okay. stuff. <laughs> I always think that there's really no time for pranks. I feel. Yeah. Well, well there, there's, there's, there's time for fun there's though. There's time. <laughs> but to to plan is something so elaborate. Yeah, like, and that's then the true. feathers are gonna fall. And, and then you never like know whether you're gonna be behind on that day and whether people are going to hate you for having a prank or not. So Exactly, exactly. Time is money. <laughs> um, Christine Bell said, what was it like to work with Peter Jackson? Like, what's one of the, like, the, I guess, the best things about him? I mean, the man is a, a, man is a visionary, you know. He's, he, he sits looking at five different screens, uh, you know, and somehow manages to take it all in and somehow manages to give you the direction you need. Um, every single time before set, he'd get me jumping up and down. He'd be like, right, John, do your jumps. Get, 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 get energized, get ready to act. Um, and just a lovely, lovely man that I have pleasure to have known and worked with. Would you ever want to direct in the future? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah? I would That's something that you're like into? I would love to be a director. I would love to write. I'd lo I love acting. You know, I just want to be part of this for the rest of my life. That's cool. That's one, cool. Once you're here, you've, you're bitten and you've, right. you, yeah. you can't get out. Right. <laughs> yeah. You're needed, needed downstairs. downstairs. Okay. Now leave us. Well, pleasure to meet you, girls. Say goodbye to everyone and in the chat box. to meet you all. They love you, John. Oh, I know. They, they I love really, you all, really too. You. <laughs> See all right. you later, guys. Thank you so much. Pleasure. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. No 